home already? Kids are barely asleep. Papa, are you drunk? Teeny tiny fan. You want some toast? No. Drink water? No, I don't want water. Oh. What? What do you want? You. Oh. Mm. Oh. Maybe you should go out with Phil more. Oh, shut up. Mm. Get some writers, please. A bit of enthusiasm, please. Well, if you like it, buy it. How are you not hungover? Half a practically crawled through the door last night. Hardly. I'm sure it's more elegant than that. Well, it was certainly something. You guys really should go out for a drink more often. It did end rather abruptly. Well, are you going to get back to it? It's hot, right? Are you sure it's Harper's colour, though? What? No, that's for me. Oh, well, I thought you were buying her a special gift. It's not her birthday. Is it? Is it our anniversary? What do you know that I don't feel? Nothing. I'm just used to spontaneous gifts with Ehi. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just the way he is. Well, I can do spontaneous. Really? Well, and Harper needs a new helmet. Just what every woman dreams of. You don't know Harper like I do. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of years ago I bought her a banging pasta maker. Oof, blew her mind. Hey, sorry about last night. You wish you stayed? No, I was just a bit drunk. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was, and when I get drunk, I get, um... Naughty? Silly. Oh, thank you. So we should definitely do it again, you know, with the guys. With the guys. Don't trust yourself alone with me anymore. Especially when you're wearing that special fragrance. I'm not wearing any perfume. Oh, what do you call it? Odor ED? Yeah, okay, sure, sorry. Yes, I do reek of, reek of that. Have a relax, I'm only teasing. Right. So, uh, ibuprofen, Q? Um, no, no, um, codeine. Come on, 60 milligrams, we're not saying this. You want me to chart it? That's okay, it's my patient, I can do it. Okay. Our appointment has been postponed. Oh, that's a shame. Drew's busy, apparently. Yeah, he's in theater, I handed him his last patient. We well, he came here for nothing. Please don't fight over me. We're not. I'm worried it feeds the cancer. Well, we're not fighting, Leanne, I promise. Good. Life's too short. Eddie, hey. Oh, uh, can I talk to him? No. Hi. Yep, yep, we've, we've moved the surgery to this week. You know, it's not too late to change your mind. She'd never forgive me. That's not true. Leave it, Maeve. It's your life, Leanne. It's only right that you should get to choose how you spend the rest of it. You're right. And I'm choosing not to waste whatever time I have, breaking my daughter's heart. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, no worries. I need to make a quick stop and uh, grab her. What is this? It's just a little... Thank you. What for? For my darling devoted wife. Who else? But why? I don't need a reason to be spontaneous and spoiling. Come on. As long as you're not about to drop a bombshell and this is like the cushioning so I don't get mad. Oh, ye of no faith. I just whipped out on my brake, picked it up. How'd I do? You shouldn't have. Stolen midnight. What's the line? Steal the night. Crap, it's the wrong one, isn't it? No. No. I didn't think you'd want another bike helmet. Look, how does it make you feel? Desirable? Powerful? 
I am freaking out, okay? Don't do it again, okay? Help your husband choose a present you'll actually like. You wanted me to think it was from you? Of course not. I wanted you to feel special and have a present that you deserve, that's all. Okay, don't tell me it wasn't more than that. Okay, then I won't tell you. But he was clueless. I was doing him a favour. Now you're laughing at him. I'm not laughing at him. You know what Drew's like, stuck in Drew land? You can't even remember what body wash he liked from the supermarket, right? Unless it's work-related, don't come near me again. Okay.